Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a closer look at an interesting LED lamp that has a circular shape, a little reminiscent of the Aki Aura that we also are using right now. We can see it here, kind of a ring-shaped lamp, also similar to the Hung Balance Lamp that we checked out a while back. Except this one has a circular disc that also acts as a wireless Bluetooth speaker. It's using Bluetooth 5.0 and also has a Qi wireless charger coil built onto the top so you can pop on a Samsung or iPhone device, anything with Qi enabled, and it will charge your device up to 10 watts. So it's a hybrid multifunction desk lamp. The packaging contents are pretty bare bones. Aside from the lamp itself, we have a quick user guide and then just the charger, and that's it. Initial impressions of this lamp is it's actually a lot smaller than what I was initially expecting in terms of the ring diameter. As you can see here, much closer to, say, a mood lamp than compared to the Aki uh, ring light that we have here. You can see it's much larger by contrast. This is also about the same height as the Hung Balance wood lamp, which is made out of wood, another popular modern design that we've seen in the past. So this thing is a uh, kind of a miniature version of that, uh, really more meant as a speaker and charger, I guess. But anyways, what's kind of interesting is that this one, the lamp is actually foldable, so you can adjust the angle of the lamp to fold it completely flat, maybe to hang this onto something like a door, uh, so you can use it as a speaker and carry it around, and you can also take up less space, but it can be adjusted 180 degrees, as you can see there on its hinge. In terms of the build quality, the frame here is made out of aluminum and metal, so decent. The body here is made out of a plastic, and the top here is made out of a wood material. On the top here, we do have some of the controls for the speaker part in terms of power, skip track, playing and pause commands. We can see the drivers inside here, and then it takes just the power adapter on the rear. There are some soft touch rubber feet that prevents the base from sliding around on a surface. And then the same thing goes on the top. This is the Qi charging component. It's also made out of rubber that prevents the phone from getting scratched and moving around when you set it down onto its base. So a few comments here to turn on the light, basically tap anywhere on the aluminum rail here to basically act as a switch. So you can tap on it once to turn it off, once to be the dimmest, the second mode, and then the third mode. So there's three different brightness levels that you can set it to. Inside of this ring, by the way, there are 40 LED lights, pretty even glow, just like the Aki and the Hung lamp that we saw from before, and does add a nice kind of ambient warm light into your background. Um, and good enough, I guess, for a small desk area or as a night light, a mood lamp, something like that. Although you can't change the color temperature, you can't really change, say, the warmth of the light. It's always going to be in this uh, white color, uh, but you can change the brightness levels. Another thing I want to point out is there's actually no built-in battery onto the base. What that means is it needs to be plugged into power at all times for it to function for any of the capabilities, including the light, including the charging, and also the speaker. I kind of expected maybe the light and the speaker could be operated using a battery, uh, so that's something that could be nice to have in a next generation model, but it is what it is here. Let's do a quick demo of the speaker quality next. Alright, so just pausing things there, the takeaway is the quality is not bad as far as being just a basic speaker is concerned for maybe listening to some occasional songs. It does get louder for sure than what you'll find on your smartphone speaker. This was only at around 60% volume in that test now. If anything, perhaps the trebles is its one weakness where I feel like it could accentuate some more details and does slightly distort a little bit at higher frequencies, but there is surprisingly a touch of bass in terms of lower frequency sounds, so if you're listening to a drum beat or an EDM track, you can hear it kind of rumble and kick a little bit in the background. There's not really any hints of hissing or background noise that I can hear, and the latency is not really bad. Now in terms of the wireless charging, should also work as expected. So if we put kind of a phone onto the top area of our pad here, we'll be able to see that the charging has indeed started. If we kind of put it down once again, it should start once more. And does support fast charging wireless protocols, typically taking about two hours to fully charge up most 
typical smartphones. Again, this would be nice to put maybe by the side of your bed and could be used as a mood lamp, reading light, a small speaker for ambient noise, and also for charging your device at night without fiddling around with any wires or cables. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on look at this unique hybrid LED lamp that also combines a Qi charger as well as a Bluetooth speaker. An interesting item, but uh, not too bad in terms of the value considering you get all these features in one, I'd say. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.